Hi, I have noted down the information given in a question from GATE 2019 exam. It's a two marks question and its statement says, a certain processor deploys a single level cache. The cache block size is eight words and the word size is four bytes. The memory system uses a 60 megahertz clock. To service a cache miss, the memory controller first takes one cycle to accept the starting address of the block. Then it takes three cycles to fetch all the eight words of the block and finally transmits the words of requested block at rate of one word per cycle. The maximum bandwidth of the memory system when program running on processor issues a series of read operations is dash into 10 raised to the power 6 bytes per second. Okay, so you are required to find out the maximum bandwidth in terms of 10 raised to the power 6 bytes per second. The, uh, the data mentioned in question is this. They are saying to service a cache miss, these many clock cycles are required. First clock cycle, this one is required to accept the starting address of block. So in one clock cycle, starting address of the required block is transferred to the main memory. Actually, CPU asks for one word, but entire block will be just brought into the cache. This is done just to follow the principle of locality of reference. Anyways, then they are saying to fetch all the words of that block, three clock cycles are needed. So these three clock cycles are needed to buffer the data in the primary memory only. And after that, they have given transfer rate of one word per cycle. One word per cycle. Also, there are eight words in the entire block that's given in the question. So uh, you, you can just see how many cycles will be needed because we have eight words in a block so eight clock cycles will be needed to transfer at this rate okay so in case of a cache miss eight plus three plus one that means 12 clock cycles are required servicing a cache miss requires 12 clock cycles also they have given cache block is eight words a word is four bytes. So in total, cache block will be how many bytes? It is eight into four, 32, 32 bytes. I've noted down it here. Moving ahead, they're saying clock runs at 60 megahertz. 60 megahertz means 60 mega clocks are generated in one second. Because hertz means num uh, times per second. So 60 mega clocks are generated in one second. Mega is 10 raised to the power 6. Now let's start the question. But before that, let me just highlight this point. In question it says maximum bandwidth for the memory system. They are asking about maximum bandwidth. And the entire data in the question is regarding a cache mess. Now you see, if we assume that every read access to the memory was a miss, that means every time for one entire second, whenever CPU tries to access a cache, it was a miss. This assumption would actually reduce the bandwidth. We'll find minimum bandwidth in that case. Okay. So I think question uh, in question they were supposed to mention minimum bandwidth but maybe it's some error the question says maximum bandwidth and there's another point maybe maybe i'm not very sure they are talking about this bandwidth say this is your ram ram or primary memory this is cache and this is cpu if they are talking about bandwidth at which CPU can access the memory system, then the word must be minimum. 
बट इफ दैट टॉकिंग द बैंडविड थैट विच रैम विल ट्रांसफर द डेटा देन मैक्सिमम इज ओके देन क्वेश्चन इज करेक्ट बट वी आर नॉट श्योर वी कैन नॉट एज्यूम एनी थिंग अनलेस इट्स मैंशनड इन द क्वेश्चन सो जस्ट लेट्स मेक अजम्पन ट्वेल्व क्लॉक साइकल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू ट्रांसफर वन ब्लॉक लेट्स सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस अजम्पन नाउ कैश मिस रिक्वायर्स दीज मैनी क्लॉक साइकल्स ऑल्सो कैश ब्लॉक इज थर्टी टू वर्ड्स so we can easily conclude that 12 clock cycles are required for transferring 32 bytes 12 clock cycles are required to transfer 32 bytes you are required to find out how many bytes can be transferred in one second here we know in terms of clock cycles but we are required to find out data transfer per unit time or in one second also relation in number of clocks and one second is known so the job is simple if we find out how many bytes can be transferred in 16 into 10 raised to the power 6 clock cycles can we say it would be very similar to number of bytes transferred in one second because these many clocks anyways take this much time so instead of finding uh the number of bytes transferred in one second let's find out the number of bytes transferred in 16 into 10 raised to the power 6 clocks because both are same at end of the day now you can see 12 and 60 are related to each other by a multiple of 5 12 5s are 60 so you just multiply this equation by 5 or rather 5 into 10 raised to the power 6 multiply this equation by 5 into 10 raised to the power 6 so this becomes 12 fives are 60 into 10 raised to the power 6 clock cycles are enough to transfer 32 into 5 32 into 5 is 30 into 5 is 150 and 2 into 5 is 10 so this is 150 plus 10 160 One sixty into ten raised to the power six, and the unit is bytes. So we found out in these many clock cycles, this much data can be transferred. Also, these many clock cycles require one second. So can I say in one second, this much data can be transferred? One second. in one second you could transfer those many bytes of data that's what they are asking dash into 10 raised to the power 6 bytes per second can be transferred so dash as 160 this is your answer uh i hope you understood that point of maximum and minimum that i'm just talking about or i was talking about yeah, you just do one thing if you didn't understand that please rewind the video and answer to this question is 160